So, um, I'm going to share to you guys my Tinola. Tinola is a, like, what are the premier or the one of the main soups in the Philippines? And that's, that's what they, can you guys see me? Oh, um, basically I'm preparing the ingredients, or my, my spices and aromatics, my, this is the ginger, cutting it. I don't, I don't even bother cleaning the skin because I think you can get nutrients from the skin. So since you're boiling it, I want all the nutrients in the soup. But anyway, tinola, yeah, that's uh, it's uh, almost like I would say traditional uh, Filipino uh, soup stew, chicken stew. So the main thing about tinola is, uh, aside from the aromatic onions and garlic, is the ginger. Gotta put ginger, makes it tinola. And then uh, usually they put uh, green papaya and um, pepper. Uh, Chili leaves, bay leaf, you know, the aromatics. But mine is an improvement of it. Because sometimes I don't have green papaya, sometimes I don't have all the traditional ingredients. So I'm making a tinola based on what I have in the kitchen. Which is, instead of, uh, well, I think I might find green papaya. I think I, I, I think I bought green papaya the other day. But anyway, instead of chili leaves, I'm going to get the flavor from um, serrano peppers. So that's there's some chilliness in there too. And instead of... I'm going to put radish too as one of my vegetables. Because I don't have chayote. Chayote, I really like. Green onions. And uh, where's my green papaya? I think I have green papaya. My and I already put the uh, the garlic and then the onion and then now the ginger. I put a lot of ginger, so it tastes solid. One whole ginger root. That's what I did. This is my style of cooking. It's something like just easy to put together. No, no, nothing fancy. There. And then uh, instead of oil, I couldn't find the oil. I put just butter. So maybe I can like put more taste in it. So um, um, a slice of butter. So I'll let that brown a little bit. Uh, these are my basic aromatics. I will put my chicken and um, water, let it boil, then put the vegetables. All right. I see my butter is burning, so maybe I should just uh, put the soup now. Start making the soup. Brown that a little bit. And where am I getting the chicken? Uh, Retosserie chicken from uh, Sam's Club. I chilled it so all the the juices and the thing gets, you know, become solid with the chicken. And I chopped it a bit, and that's going to be my chicken base. So put all that there. The bones too. I like the bones because that's where I think that's where the flavor is. Where the bones. That's a secret. I mean, you don't eat the bones, you know, you're, you have to be more sophisticated with your, your palate. Not just to taste, but to just like figure out what you're doing with it. So, just closer. So, I let that brown a little bit. And since basically the chicken is already cooked, this is a quick way to make it. You know, basically you're just making the soup because the chicken is already cooked. And then you're ma you're trying to, in I'm what I'm trying to do is infuse that the, uh, my aromatics with the chicken. So. 
then I'm gonna get um, water. And the way I make a soup from my mom is the level of of water goes to the level of or maybe somewhere close to the level of where the chicken is. Don't don't submerge the, the chicken entirely. Still get the most concentrated form of flavor. You have enough to boil it, but not enough to drown it. So there. Then I'm gonna put my vegetables once it starts uh, boiling. And also guys, for uh, the umami flavor, I use uh, fish sauce. I think this is uh, from a Thai, Thai brand. You can use the Filipino one, but I don't have the Filipino one. So that's this is for the umami flavor. And then you can uh, put salt also, which I am going to do. I'm going to put salt also. Norton salt, a little bit of salt, just all, everything is estimated because if you put too much salt or too much of everything, it's hard to reduce that. And uh, black peppercorn, I might, I might as well break it down so to infuse the flavor. And I don't think I need a laurel leaf, but it's, I'll let that boil. And that's my, uh, and let's wait. And what it, what are the things that you have to do as a cook is not so much on, like rely on measurements, like measurements is fine, you know, is to um, taste your food that you're making. Mm, the salt is there. Then it's starting to heat up a little bit. So it's like about to, to boil. So I'm gonna start putting my uh, veggies there. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna bombard it with too much. So maybe this, this is an entire radish, uh, daikon radish. It's a entire radish like this, and I chopped it. So I'm gonna put half. I'm just gonna put half of the radish. There, that's enough. And then I'll use this sometime else. Next, also to give a little ca carrot. This might not become tinola anymore, but it's like a. It's my own dish and I'm gonna eat it. So uh, this is gonna be my tinola. But the, the taste base is tinola. I'm just adding more vegetables to it. So half, half the carrot to give it color. And also four small potatoes that I also chopped. So put that all there, let it boil and that'll be ready. And then the magic stuff the pepper mm. let that boil and we're ready to go see it's already colorful not too colorful not a lot of red but like uh yeah and to, to make it look like you're an expert, you do this. <laughs> I don't know what does that that does, except for like a, to remove the, the, the drain and the, on your ladle or your scoop. <laughs> That's what it does. Now it has boiled and I'm going to test the radish if it's cooked. If it's soft, it's cooked. Oh, it's cooked. So this is ready to go. I'll turn off the fire, let it set, let it cook. 
and we gotta check the soup. Uh, let me taste it. No. Perfect. Mm, perfect. Tinola.